Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 1. I hope everybody has been taking good care of themselves. Thanks for stopping by for another episode, and I hope you all enjoy. I get premium services. Let me see. What other options do we have? <gasps> Bookwalker. Ooh. Bookwalker. Who here loves the heck out of Spongebob? I watched up to the current season as well as played the games. Ooh, I would love to play Spyro Rehydrated. Not Spyro Rehydrated. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, Spyro Reignited. I want to play Spongebob Rehydrated. I think that would be super fun. I was not okie dokie after doki dokie. Heisenberg, howdy, welcome on in. I was not either. I literally was having dreams of doki dokie for three solid nights. Are you doing all right now, though? I hope. Oh, makes sense. I didn't know Manga Reader was not supporting the industry, so that's totally my bad. Well, it's okay now, you know. Now you I don't mind paying for a subscription. I just can't pay $10 a book. Agreed. I, I find that I have a hard time with that as well. I usually get, like, my manga from, like, a, um, a secondhand store. Second playthrough? Um, I'm not going to play second playthrough quite yet. I want to in the future. I want to try and do other endings. I want to try and get the other two endings, but definitely not quite right now. We'll probably do that in a month or two when I have more time. There are some sneaky Easter eggs that show up. I would love to play again. Kiss anime is what I used as a kid. Um, let's disembark real quick. M22. Half price books. <gasps> Mom gets her manga from there. Ooh. I haven't checked out half price books in a hot minute. And the keyhole. The heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Jafar, I've looked everywhere for Jasmine. She's disappeared like magic. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine and bring her to me at once. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The heartless consume. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that we could all see and hear the cutscene best. The best. Um, live in my mom's house like I'm 22 cause I'm a weeaboo. Hey, being a weeaboo is wonderful, okay? You see the world in a way that just, you just don't see anywhere else. Don't give up! Have determination. I can stay as long as I'm working. I think that's fair. I think it's really nice that your parents are letting you stay. Um, it's a lot. That's a lot of positive support that I like to see. Having 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 home security is, is very important for a person to be able to successfully move forward in their life. So it's it's just really nice to see that everybody is taking good care of themselves and have people who are helping take care of them also, especially in these hard times. It gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that our community is doing okay. Are you really sisters? Yes. We are really sisters. Returns from the void. Welcome back. 
Niori, welcome back. How are the puppers? Did you give them good pet pet? Yes, that is truly my sister. Sometimes she reminds me of things and tells me things from my childhood that I that I didn't know or remember. And sometimes I just reminisce. I go down the rabbit hole of thoughts. <laughs> Two opposite animals for me, siblings. Hey, you know, a duck is a duck, and a goose is a goose, but in a family, there's no odd duck out, right? <laughs> Look, I have an alt, I have an alt Sona, and they are a, a rainbow zebra named Ginger. And it's... It's fantastic. Who needs any one kind? Look, my mom sometimes comes by, right? So our mom comes by sometimes and she let me make her an avatar for her account and it's a snow leopard like me. So... I'm not the adopted one. <laughs> uh. Are you sisters for our whole life? Hello. Hello. It's almost like we shouldn't force kids to leave home so they can enter enter lifelong student and or mortgage debt because they're allowed to drink heckin' alcohol, right? Look, your brain isn't fully developed until you're 25, and that's why that's why I think it's important to take care of your kids until they're 25, and when you're 26 is when you finally fall off of your parents' insurance. You know, in a lot of places, um, they've they've actually raised the smoking age to 21, like drinking, but now you can be 18 and you can enter the military, but you can't smoke or drink for multiple years after that. I just, it makes me surprised. It's like, as soon as they turn 18, it's like, okay, here you go, boom, into the world. I did my job. And it's like, I mean, yes, but also, also, let them have stability. Let your kids have stability. I think having a family is complicated. I don't want to have kids because it's a terrifying time of time in the world to raise kids. But it's expensive to have kids, and when you're a young adult, living is expensive. It's it's hard. Is mom into games? Our mom plays a couple of games, but uh, we're the gamers of the family. Well, for your whole life anyway. Look, for my whole life, we're sisters. All right, all right. 21 is now the national ma minimum for smoking and or vaping now. Isn't that sad? I think I think they should have left it at 18. And I think smoke drinking should have also been put to 18. Because I don't understand. If you're an either... Either you're an adult or you're not. What? Where? Why? Why is there like age restrictions? I don't. I don't understand. I guess you can't rent a car when you're 18 either because you're not responsible enough. But you're an adult, so I don't understand. Mom likes iPad games. That's true. She does. She does like her her iPad games. That's true. You, can, you can't rent a car until 25, I think. And it doesn't make sense. It makes me so angry. Doesn't vaping give you popcorn lungs? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a, I, I'm not a, I, I vaped for like three weeks of my entire life. And then I needed, and then, and then the battery fizzled apart and burnt my hand. And I said, nope, I'm done with that. I agree, if you're able to die for your country, you should be able to drink and smoke, in my opinion. I that's that's how I feel. Either either you're an adult or you are not an adult. If you are if you are not an adult, then you should then it should be expected that you should be able to stay with your family, with your parents, and your parents should be responsible for you until then. But we're kind of in this weird limbo, but you know, I'm an old lady, so what do I know? I'm Jasmine. My father is the su Sultan of Agrabah. Oh, so that makes you a princess. But he has been 
deposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's a royal vizier. He's gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He's desperately looking for something he calls a keyhole. Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped me. Who helped you? We were hiding nearby, but he left a little while ago to take care of something. Oh, I hope Aladdin's all right. Where might I find this street rat? Nowhere, Jafar. Desmond, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you a sin. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. Here in Illinois, 18 year olds old, you can drive a car, buy a gun, vote people into office, and join the police and military, but you can't drink or smoke for another three years. I know, it's it's kind of laughable. It's it's true. You're gonna get cancer from smoking. <laughs> uh, look. There's plenty of information out there about what smoking does for your body, so I mean... I mean, is it really, is it really surprising when it happens? It's, you know, I feel like there's plenty of information out there to make an informed decision of what you want to do, but you know, it exists. What inspired you to create a snow leopard OC? I think it's awesome. Just curious. So uh, I've always felt like a snow leopard has been my best connection with animals but they're also just so super beautiful but um sister was it you who i was talking about i can't remember if it was my sister or cure dactyl but we were talking about snow leopards it's like they're they kind of represent me because they're both black and white because i'm mixed so it's like it kind of represents both things and they're kind of soft-spoken and of course incredibly beautiful but they're they're in the you know they're they're hard to understand and there's not a lot of information about them and I feel like there's a lot of things about me that I, are like not understood. But I love snow leopards and they're so pretty and I tried to make it pur I tried to make her purple and so her outline is purple and then her spots are like a pinkish purple. Well, I guess they're just kind of a pinkish. I don't really know what color they are, but I enjoy it. <laughs> uh, the disrespect is far worse. What? I'm so confused. We're not, we're not attacking each other over our personal choices of what we do in life, are we? Because we're all here to respect one another. We're playing nice, right? We all know that we're allowed to make our choices. And the fact that age restrictions cause us to make choices differently is just what we're saying is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, a lot of older liquids sip, but the juices are no longer allowing the use of ingredients that caused popcorn lung. It was mainly dessert flavors that caused it. Oh, that's interesting. I prefer food as a vice. Can't you vape weed? <gasps> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can you? No, that wasn't me. Uh, there are juices that have THC in them. Snow leopards are very elusive. They are. Have you seen The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? I have not. You are mixed. Yes, I am. I am. I got heckin' big curl hair. My hair very curly. I love that description for your character, then. That's pretty cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. It is... Uh... I've seen The Secret Life of Walter White. Is that where your handle comes from? You're gosh darn right. <laughs> uh, I love, I love stuff. I love stuff that's inspired by other stuff. I'm a stuffaholic. Also, I would also definitely say that eating is probably my biggest vice too. Once upon a time, it was buying books. I used to buy so many books. It's one of those things where you go someplace where they've got secondhand books, you know, 
and they're like, ah, oh, secondhand books. They're only like two, two, three dollars. And you're like, what? A hardcover book for three dollars? And it's the final book in a series I've been looking for? Sold. Man, buying books is so hard. As for the question earlier asked about what my favorite anime would be, I'm still thinking about it. I, I would say that something that has been one of my most one of my most remembered animes and manga that really like jet set me off into being becoming a weave was Chobits. Sister, it's all your fault. Chobits is your fault. It's your fault. Just saying. But it's okay. I also am a huge Sailor Moon nerd. So carpet flew off in the desert direction but also um i really like mushishi as an anime i was gonna say chobits but i didn't want to sound old chobits is precious chobits is so good okay do you remember when you used to hide them and i was like oh no this is this is this is this is literature in this house i'm reading it you missed my message. <gasps> Did I? Let me go back. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you for letting me know. I will read it. Hold on. Fun fact. Kingdom Hearts 1 on the PlayStation 2 ran at 30 frames per second. On the HD Remix, it runs at 60. Whoa. Is that why it feels different? Is that why this feels different, including the camera? Because it runs twice as many frames. I guess that would make a lot of sense. Also, thank you for letting me know that I missed that message. Because that that makes a lot more sense about why it feels so different. Because that frame count is big difference. Even on the base, PlayStation 4. Yup. Ooh. Remember Jetix? No. Uh, Toy Story is my favorite anime. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Okay, beautiful people, I have to go. I love you, sister. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good time. I hope you have a good weekend. I hope it's not filled with too, too much work. Remember to have fun. Remember, having fun is important. Hello, could you maybe not wreck me? These dudes take so much health. What the hecky? Toy Story 3 is my favorite. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Everybody's saying goodbye. Toy Story 3 was good. That was the one with the bear, right? I think the second one was my favorite because that... That cinematic sequence where Jesse got forgotten. I was like, that just ripped my heart in half. Remember Toon Disney? Oh man, that's a thought and a half. Get rid of him. Bye. Oh, I turned it up too late. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Thanks, Sora. Aladdin. What are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon... Please, the kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. This winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. I'm in rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and split. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. So, master, what do you have for wish number two? <laughs> How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I do that? Okay, you asked for it. 
A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less, or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. No okay. thanks. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess, and I'm... Ah, she could never fall for a guy like me. Oh, princess? Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. No one can replace Robin Williams. Nobody. Nobody. Okay? Nobody. I, I admit it. Nobody. It's true. Wait, you know what? I need Goofy. It's true. Pixar does love to rip our hearts out. That's super duper true. That's super duper true. Ah, fresh air, the great outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. After we help Jasmine. There he goes. There he goes. So... Uh, I too saw Toy Story 4 and I felt I felt like Toy Story 4 was a good ending it was I felt like it was a good ending it kind of was like finite you know they're like okay this this is the end of the series y'all can complain all you want you can say that you want the game all, or uh, another movie all you want but you're not getting another movie this is obviously the end Remember staying up late and watching Toonami? Toonami was lit. I remember staying up late to watch um, Samurai Jack. That was a good one. I really liked Samurai Jack. I thought that was a well done, um, a well done anime with uh, that. What's his name? The big guy, the big dragon guy, the bad guy. I felt like he was pretty cool. I can't remember a whole lot about it, but I do remember he used to kick some serious butt. Let me see... How far away? 620. That is a lot of points. But I think we're done leveling for today. I think we're just gonna go ahead and, and stick with, uh... Stick with what we've got and kind of let the levels come naturally. At least until tomorrow. Because I want to kind of... Get, I want to get a little bit further in because we we should be able to at least get most of the way done with this world today we might have um, like a little bit of, of wrap-up to do I don't know if we're gonna beat Jafar today but we should be able to get at least Agrabah done this weekend Grew up to Tanami, Samurai Jack, Dragon Ball Z, and Bleach. Ooh, Bleach. Bleach was a good one. I've seen some of it. I I really like the mechanics of Bleach. And you know another one that has a really good set of mechanics is... um Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, full Metal... Full Metal... Full Metal... The... Mm, uh, I know my words, I promise. Full Metal Alchemist. Thanks, Aladdin. Hey, Goofy, come here. I kind of want that. Oh, man. I wanted him to kind of. It's fine. I got him. But Full Metal Alchemist was good. That's one of those, like, good world-building shows. Because everything is very, very... 
linear. You know, if you use something, you have to give up something. Remember Ultimate Muscle? No. Rewatching Samurai Jack. Ooh. Bobo Bo is really good. Most people didn't like it. Ooh, I never saw that one. Aku! Yeah, that guy. Aku! Blue Dragon is one of my favorites as a kid. Ooh, I don't I don't recognize that by name, but it doesn't mean I don't know it. It just means just means hello? The lighting just dramatically changed. Oh, I have to enter here from above. Yes, good. Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I've never seen all the way through either of them, but I remember liking Full Metal Alchemist on its own. Like I really liked that when I when I watched some of it. So, I'm I'm going I'm going to say that one. On uh, see Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is my favorite anime. I do like the OG for Full Metal, uh, but I don't know. Brotherhood made me feel things. <laughs> it's okay. Shows that make you feel emotionally overwhelmed are the real MVPs. Like if a game can make me emotionally devastated, I I usually am am pretty hooked. Like. Sailor Moon Crystal, Chibi Moon came at, came or Chibiusa came at, came at her with a gun, like an actual gun, like fully loaded and everything, and I was just like, what? I was like, Chibi, why? I was shook. I was shook. Back in the 90s, only two animes mattered. Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon. That's some truth. That is some truth. Sa the original Sailor Moon, I loved her outfits. Hold on, y'all. I have to go stop at the litter box real quick. It's making me distracted because I keep thinking about going to the litter box, but then I don't do it and I'm missing things. Hold on. I'll be right back. And then I gotta go get some more water. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for your patience, everybody. I'm sorry, I know I'm missing some stuff and I apologize. I have notoriously bad tracking habits. But went to the bathroom, got some more water, got a snack to nibble on during uh, cutscenes. That should, that should get my attention back up to where it needs to be. I apologize if I'm missing things. I'm keeping up best as I can. But thanks for letting me know when I'm not seeing things or responding to things because everybody's opinions are valid. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me see. So, uh, back in the 90s, only two animes matter, Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon. These are both true. And it was very, very divided. Like, if you were a girl and you liked Dragon Ball Z... That was like, no, that's for boys. And it's like, no, that's for people who like kicking butt. And then people who are like, oh, I like Sailor Moon. And it's like, what? That's a girl's anime. It's like, no, that is about learning how to deal with your feelings and making sure that you take care of your friends. Like, that's not, that's not just for anybody specific. You know what I mean? And I'm glad that things are becoming more level and people are like, just like what you like, just leave me alone. <laughs> oh. Let me see. Do you guys remember Code Lyoko? I remember seeing a lot of fan art about Code Lyoko, but I never got the opportunity to watch it. Um, and then another classic is Angel Beats. You know what's a good one? That, that Angel Beats reminds me of... Um, What's it called? Angelic Lair. That was a good one. Hello? There's somewhere very specific. I have to go. I need to get all the way up there. Okay. Angelic Lair was good. That was about a girl who like went to live with her aunt because her mom couldn't oh because her mom couldn't take care of her. And you find out that her mom is like sick and getting sicker. And uh, she ends up getting gifted by this weird guy, like um, this little doll where she could 
she could control it with her thoughts, you know? And, oh no. I don't know how to, I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know how to find her. Oh wait, you know what? I'm just gonna go to his house. It's fine. But he uh, gave her this doll that she can control specifically with her thoughts. And it was like, oh cool, okay. And then um, she ends up going into this championship like almost as soon as she learns how to use this doll. And she's like, ah, I'm gonna do this for you, mom. And it was, it was a big emotional story. It was one of those things where they kind of directed it towards, towards like the same age group that, you, that they pushed towards like Sailor Moon and stuff. But it ended up being like a really good rounded out, like everybody's kind of, kind of a, a show. I really liked Dragon Ball Z and some of my girls buddies would give me an eyebrow raise. I remember I used to sit and watch it on occasion and I was like, this is so good. Look at all this butt kicking. He's got a tail. Oh no, now he doesn't have a tail. Why does that, why did, why do they keep working to get wishes and then wish for this guy who keeps dying to come back? I was just like blown away. So Jafar is after Jasmine in this keyhole. Keyhole, eh? I could swear I've heard about that somewhere before. Really? Where? Now, where was it? It's only been 200 years. Well, anyway, we've got to stop Jasmine before it's too late. Okay, well, I guess this is what I've been needing to do. I was wrong. I thought I had to go into that area, but... I was wrong. Um, we'll go here. Ooh, you can watch it on YouTube. Oh, nice. Maybe I'll have to check that out too. Why is there so many things that I, that sound interesting to me and I have to like look into? That's rude. How dare you give me all of these good things to read up and watch? That's, that's intense. <laughs> uh... I feel like I need to get up there. Protectora chain. Can I use that? Equipment. AP, uh, uh, nothing is gonna help me. Uh, okay. Okay, fine. I do remember coming home after school when I was little and being so excited to watch the Powerpuff Girls. Maybe it's because it reminded me of Sailor Moon with girls kicking butt and learning vital and important lessons, right? I feel like I, f I am so confused right now. I am so confused. Where the flip flop do I go? This has always been hard for me to remember how to get to where I'm going always since the beginning because it like reason tells me you go through here what is going on with this camera i can i can watch the original um powerpuff girls and the new powerpuff girls on um um hbo max so that's exciting oh okay all right now we're cooking with fire i'm sorry lol what you should be sorry giving me all these things that i'm want to dedicate so much time to it's wonderful i'm so i'm so glad about it so i you actually shouldn't be sorry you should be like yes Give all your time to all of these things. Wah ha ha. Oh dang it. Forgot to jump. Even I watched Powerpuff Girls. The Powerpuff Girls, I loved, I love, dang it, I jumped too late. I loved the episode with the rowdy rough boys. Oh my gosh. Hand eye coordination games. Thank you so much for the raid. Bringing in all your friends. I appreciate it. Here, watch this cutscene. 
that I voice over real quick. Hold on, y'all. Oh wait, that wasn't a that wasn't a scene. I thought it was gonna be a scene, so that means I can happily greet everybody. Howdy, everybody! Thanks for coming in a raid to me, Cassie the Deville. You can call me Cat Cats or Catsy. We are playing Kingdom Hearts One this weekend on the PlayStation Four. We're trying to work our way through all three games. It's gonna take us a while because I get super duper super duper distracted how you doing welcome on and let me get you a shout out we've been talking about our favorite animes mangas we're talking about how silly it was that once upon a time girls watching dragon ball z was bad and boys watching powerpuff girls and sailor moon was bad and now everybody gets to watch what they want and it doesn't really matter because they all have valid things that everybody can enjoy and it's wonderful. Does anybody have any any mangas, animes, or anything that they've been loving or have some nostalgia towards? Thank you so much for the follow, Ryan. I appreciate it. Let me see. The Powerpuff Girls reboot was not good in my opinion. I've heard a lot of negative reviews about the reboot. I probably won't even watch the reboot outside of like the first couple episodes just to see. I love that though the Powerpuff Girls can be for both boys and girls. It can be for everybody. Ooh, and Dexter's Lab. That was a good one too. So Ryan, howdy. Cadditch, howdy. Taryn, howdy. Hand-eye coordination games, howdy. It's a heckin' raid. You're playing one of my favorite games ever. Ryan, I'm so glad to hear that. How are you doing today, friend? We're doing wonderful. I got to level 21, so I got scanned. So now I can see bad guys' HP bars. Wonderful. Kingdom Hearts. So nice. Oh heck, is that Cassie the Deville? Is that Cassie the Deville? Hold on, wait. I know it's really late. That's me! That's me! That's me! With my eyebrows and my ears. Hello. 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 I'm trying to go one ear at you. <laughs> How's it going? How's Mario Kart 8 been? How's it treating you? Is it treating you fairly? I hope I hope it's treating you fairly, otherwise I'll have to beat up the game. Yeah, that made me big mad, right? There's more than three games and they're all canon. That's crazy. They're all they're all canon. All of them. I like Sailor Moon and Yu-Gi-Oh! Heck yeah! Enjoy everything. Katsy, you and your emotes are appreciated. No, you. You are appreciated, okay? You are a precious being. You're here and you're hanging out, and I hope you have a great time. And I heckin' appreciate you, and I'm so glad you like my emotes that I made. If anybody needs any art, anything for any reason, please feel free to let me know either on Discord or Twitter or anything, because I made my face rig, I make emotes, I make overlays, I just, I just do all the art things, alright, alright, thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad that everybody loves it. Okay, your face rig is amazing. Thank you so much. I can appreciate it. So, have you played every game? Just not three? I have played one and two. I have not played... Three, I have not finished Rechain Memory, which was like where Goofy and Donald were cards and you attack with cards. I did not get the chance to finish that game because I got I got upset over it. I I, I, I kept getting stuck with the cards thing. I've started like the three five two days or whatever it is, and then I uh kind of played recoded but i haven't really finished any of the other games so the only two games that i fully completed is kingdom hearts one and two so i want to play through like the entire series as best as we can luigi is a jerk in mario kart 8 look by the time you get to mario kart 8 he's so tired of being called not mario Luigi is angry at being called not mario <laughs> so you <laughs> it's time to it's time to do 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 heck take my blue eyes white eye, blue my blue eyes white dragon okay slap it down on that table and just win the game either that or win by karibo just have heckin 25 karibos just nuff everything up 
please say hi to Davis from us also. I will. He's busy doing some stuff today, and that's why we get the chance to do an extra long stream today. Um, so I will definitely let him know that you said hi for sure. And I guarantee you he's going to say hi back. I promise. I hope you enjoy Kingdom Hearts 3. It was a lot of fun. I am so excited to play Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm like somewhere on the fence of how I'm going to feel about it. So I'm I'm looking forward to having some opinions and seeing full worlds. I've seen the tiniest slivers of the entire game. Like, I don't know what the storyline is. I don't know what the full, full, um, like the full worlds look like. I don't know anything. So... Outside of hearing some of the music and knowing like some of the character designs and like some of the information about what the gummy ship missions look like, I'm like pretty much going into it pretty dang blind. What about Dream Drop Distance? I have not played that. Is okay, so I have I have the the PlayStation 4, like the whole series on PlayStation 4. So on this disc, it has other games. So we're definitely going to be going into them. I know some are only cutscenes, but the ones that let us play it, we're gonna. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3 either, but I don't have a PlayStation 4. Well, if you have um, an Xbox One and you have Game Pass, you can play it on Game Pass. Extra long stream. They added a Toy Story World in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is something I've been wanting since Kingdom Hearts 1. I am so excited. I am so excited for that. My biggest criticism of Kingdom Hearts 3 is the gummy ship stuff. Ooh, Dream Drop Distance is on the 2.8 collection. I should- that should be what I have. I feel like I have like the entire thing. Like I got it from Walmart. It came in three disc packages. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Ready? A little high. Aren't you, boy? Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to trouble the princess anymore. Jasmine! I'm so sorry, Aladdin. Genie, help Jasmine, please. One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know. <laughs> so sorry, boy. I'm afraid your second wish has been denied. Huh? I'm sorry, Al. <laughs> and now, I bid you all farewell. Attack! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, video. <laughs> During that cutscene, I, um, I was having myself a quick snack. I made that pizza animation because I tend to get hungry on stream a lot, and I always feel bad when I'm like, nom 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 nom. My mouth is moving. But it's like you can't tell if I'm like trying to say something or not. So I made a pizza animation so it's more clear when I'm having myself a quick bite. Um, my, uh, uh, I know the one you're talking about. That's the one I, I want once I get a PlayStation 4. Well, I, I, um,. I definitely am happy with this so far. It was a little bit weird getting used to it, like the, the controls and everything, because I feel like this is like way more sensitive than the, than the original that I'm used to, but it makes sense because I guess, I guess it's uh, at 60 frames instead of 30. So that's a fun fact that we were given today, and that's pretty awesome to know. So it makes a lot more sense about why I was having such a hard time kind of getting getting adjusted with this game. I was expecting it to be just the same, but it wasn't. It's different. Look at him sidestepping. I got the ray of light. To the desert! Come on, let's move! Look at all these bad guys. Heckin' bad guys. Lurk, thank you so much for the lurk, and thank you so much again for bringing all your friends. I appreciate you, and I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Oh, this is still a mouth. Heck, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if I got kind of drowned out. I was just saying that I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for bringing in your friends, and I hope you have a great time. Oh, speaking of, we downloaded uh, Dead by Daylight on two different Xboxes, so we're going to be learning how to play that soon. That's going to be exciting. Maybe do some surviving with friends. You too, friendo. Thank you so much. Ooh. <sighs> I'm so excited. There's so many exciting things going on here. I don't know where they want me to go, but I'll figure it out. Also, I think it's weird that in the second game, you can level up your summons. I feel like leveling up your summons is, uh, like, exciting to have in the second game. Because this one, they're, like, you don't level up your summons, you know? This one, they just kind of pop around whenever. Hello? Who the heck are you? Oh, cool. You know what? Sure. I'll get some. Nice! Yes! My new mouse pad is here! Nice! I'm so glad to hear it. That's awesome. Uh, you know what? I I don't need to be a stingy hoe. I can, I can afford some more potions. You know what? That's good. Let's, let's see. Does it look nice with your layout? Does it look extra spicy? When you look at your layout, are you like, ah, yes. Nope, that's not where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go here. That's wonderful news. I'ma hype that up just cause I can. You know what? I think, I think more people need to hype up other people. I feel like there's so much hurt and hate in the world right now. You know, the least we can do is give positivity to the things that we've been looking forward to. You know what I mean? So I'm so glad that our community is able to just be excited for one another. It's really hard to be excited for other people sometimes if you find that you've let yourself get into kind of like an envious space of mind and I think it's incredibly therapeutic to to know that like we're healing as like a group to stem away from that kind of thought process and like towards like hype <laughs> I'm sorry did I hit you with the feels I'm so sorry I didn't mean to leave you feeling so many things I'm just I'm just telling the truth I just want I just want us all to happily coexist in the world it's the least we can do. No, I love that. Oh, I'm so glad. It's just, it's just how I feel. I feel like we all just need to spread more love. Bad people doing bad things just need to stop. They all just need to stop. Make it easier for us to love on everybody. You know, just don't, don't do that stuff. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> the tiger head is being controlled by the heartless. Oh no, where's Abu? I feel like Abu needs to be here. It makes me sad. No. Hey, come here. Hey. Oh, he just sticks his whole muzzle in the ground. It's fine. He just, he's just eating sand. It's fine. He's a sand eater. It's fine. He wants to eat some sand. I'ma let him eat some sand. Vote me for God and I will make bad people disappear. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I don't, I don't think I could do that. But I'm all for voting you as the caretaker of the world. <gasps> coffee, 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 coffee. coffee. Hey Silver, welcome on in. Ooh, got all the games. Heck yeah. Ooh, almost got him. Almost got him. He's almost there. Also, I love this tiger head. This tiger head gives me, like, big best friend of genie vibes. Okay, stick your muzzle down. Don't make me climb all the way up to your eye. You're gonna regret it. Alright, well, you made me do it. You're gonna regret it, my dude. How you doing, Silver? Welcome on in. 
Taryn, thank you so much for that lurk. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good time. No! I was in the process of stinking healing. <sighs> Yay, that's one vote secured. Sorry, but I love the sound. It's okay, no worries. We'll be changing that coffee sound soon, so uh, just keep that in mind. How are you? We're doing good. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. I heckin' ate it. I'm attempting, I'm attempting to make the cold brew. <gasps> Ooh, did you get that from me? Or is it just regular cold brew? Is it my cold brew? Did you get cold brew from me? I'm sorry, I can't. I can't see who buys what. I can only see that it happened. It is your cold brew. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to check on my page. That's amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me and our channel by getting our cold brew. You're gonna have to tell me how it is because I really want, I really want to, um, I really want to get the cold brew. My mom says it's really good. My mom says she really likes the cold brew. Um, let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta beat up this tiger. Heck. You know what? Can I just run up the back of his head? Well, currently I can. Oh, wait. No, I can't. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. It's fine. We're doing okay. Fine. I like how you're able to heal in the air. I feel like that's very convenient. My dude. Sir goofs a lot. Okay. Ready? Ready. I hate how he belches out bad guys. It just makes me very upset. -y. Get it. Will you please like. Maybe beat him up. Get the bad guy. He can't. He's trying his best, but he can't. He's making a big heckin' effort. Oh my gosh. So I was thinking about using some of the espresso from, uh, like, the African espresso, right? And using it to make a coffee, a coffee ice cream. Suppose using espresso instead of instant coffee would give it better flavor. I think it might. I think it really might. So I'm really excited. Y'all will have to stick around for an update on that. But I plan on maybe doing that like in a week. Mm, it's going to be so good. I am so excited. Come on. Throw your head down. Throw your head down. Oh, you just want to throw up some bad guys? I see how it is. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, now... Ugh, you know what? This tiger is getting... Getting on my nerves. Like, I, I felt bad for him because he was all, like, taken... Taken over by bad guys and stuff. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. I hate this. I'm dying. No, literally. I'm dying. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna survive. Oh, he's sticking his muzzle in the ground. It's fine. He's just eating some, some sand. It's fine. We can get him. We can get him. We can get him. Come on. Just a couple more hits. Come on. Just one more hit. Come on. There we do. There we go. Heckin' got him. Doesn't even matter if I die. Doesn't even matter if I die. Got him. <sighs> that was the most intense thing ever. Hello, can I pick up this rock? No, because it's not Breath of the Wild. Ugh, smart. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's that's cat. I'm s super heckin' smart. <laughs> okay, all right. Ready? Here we go. Into the evil lair. I love the Cave of Wonders. Cave of Wonders is very A+. Plus. Wait, I don't want to hit that. I don't want to break it. Because what if I need it? 
I mean, I don't know what I would need it for, but... I know that this area is like a big, like, heckin' slap in the face. Like, straight up. Not even gonna lie. Nope. That was the perfect opportunity to kick his butt, Sora. Right there. Come on. Man. Oh, he... Oh, he one-shot. Ooh. These bad guys are strong. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Maybe we do need to do some leveling. What level am I at? I'm at level 24. You're telling me that that's still not enough? Dang. That's... Mm. That's... That's way too much. I'm I'm upsetty. That's rude. That's so rude. Okay, I have two. Lucky strike raises luck so enemies drop rare items more often. There we go. We got a lucky strike or something. Here's to hoping I remember to keep re-adding it if I die again. It's fine. I'm probably not gonna die. I have- I now have full HP and full magic, but you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna go down these stairs, I'ma see. Is this where there's a save? I don't remember. I don't remember. Call? What does that mean? It's been so long since I played that. Played this, like, some of these things don't make sense. Oh! That's nice. Okay. Okay. That's rude. You know, it's probably just puppies. Those puppies can stay there for a while. Thunder ring! Why do they give me a thunder ring when obviously I probably need not a thunder ring, but something else? Ooh. Ooh! I'ma touch it. Nice. Okay. I remember very little. Oh yeah, right, Sora. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way somebody would have been able to jump like that. That mm, jump like that, swim like that. That's so unrealistic. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. Pillar probably rises all the way to the top. All the way to the top. Dang. Okay. Ready? Ready. What's this way? Is this a save point? No. I'm so confused. Is, uh... Is it over here? I feel like there was some somewhere. Ah, here it is. I knew it. Says the person who literally most obviously knew nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. But winter is on its way. So he he he's only wrong sometimes. I got a cottage. I don't understand what a cottage is for. Do you do you use it outside of a save point? Let me see. Oh, you do use it outside of a save point. Okay. Never mind. I know what it's for. I've never used it before, though. I've never used them. I've always just suffered. I always just suffer. Ooh, look at all this lucky drop. Look at all these drops. I'm so glad that I did a lucky drop because... At some point, we're gonna have to grind for stuff so I can do them stuff with the moogles. Hello? I hate you. My dude? Stop belching fire. It's not my fault that you had spicy jalapenos. Don't make it my fault. Don't you make it my fault. It is your fault. You're the ones who wanted to have those spicy jalapenos. Also, I am so glad that it's not like participation experience in this game. Could you imagine having to deal with like only leveling up if your character is 
hitting the bad guys, kind of like in Pokemon, or like Final Fantasy games with turn-based stuff, like whoever's in the battle gets the experience, because honestly, that would be so sad. Imagine trying to like level up your character, but all the other characters are killing the bad guys for you. You just don't ever get a chance to hit them in time because all the other characters are faster than you. Oh man. If that worked the same way in this game, I would be so sad. But I don't have to be sad because it's not how it works. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today with Kingdom Hearts 1. I hope you have enjoyed yourself, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!